The Black Film Archive wants to show the world just how limitless black cinema really is these collections mainly act as an exhibit for the black movie titles the streamer already has, and as a result, the movies are often from the last 10 years, or maybe the last 20. It's rare to see movies prior to those made in the 1980s. Clicking through the titles, one might think that black cinema simply didn't exist in the years before that. For now, the Black Film Archive only highlights movies that can be found somewhere in the corners of the internet, on YouTube, or other small streaming sites. This, of course, isn't to say that movies from the 1980s or 1990s are any less important, Cade said. But they do tend to be more accessible, and titles like Do the Right Thing and Love Jones often ring bells. In the decades before, though, Hollywood was actively investing in black cinema, Cade explained, and the period produced a wealth of iconic black movies, like the musical Carmen Jones, or the romantic comedy Claudine. I think when we have a deepened relationship with the past, we realize quickly that these generalizations don't hold up, she said. In the movies featured in the archive, we see there's romance, there's joy, there's tenderness, there's light in these films. One movie Cade mentioned specifically is Killing Time, a 1979 short film by Franza Woods, about a woman trying to find the best outfit to end her life in. The movie is a dark comedy, Cade said, and many might not associate black people with the genre, especially in the past. What I hope to remove black film archive is the assumption that a black person has not done something as it relates to film, she said. But with an emphasis on user-friendliness, her website makes these movies accessible to a younger generation, one that might be internet-first and unlikely to delve deep into black film scholarship on their own dot and so far, hundreds of thousands of people have benefited from the site, and Kate has received countless messages and emails from people thanking her for the work she's done. The site has captured individuals, Kate said, and it's given her encouragement to continue the project. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.